I'll tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together mm, It's always better when we're together My name is Raheem, I'm a junior at Yale University um, I self-identify as a Muslim, I grew up Muslim and for me uh, doing this work really comes from my faith tradition. Uh, there's a, just to share, there's a verse in the Quran that says that um, Allah has created you, um, men and women of different race and ethnicities and religions, so that you get to know one another. And for me, that is the foundation of the work that I do with this fellowship. Okay, hi, I'm Anugur Kanti. I go to St. Louis University, and I'm a junior there. And the reason I'm involved in interfaith work is that I feel that all people, regardless of their faith or philosophical background, have this commonality and that we're all united for social justice. And this dedication that we have for common good is what will inevitably like, unite us as people and I think interfaith work is one of the most direct ways to encompass that. My name is Kelsey Sheridan and I am a student at Northwestern University. I am a fellow, I believe in interfaith, even though I'm an atheist actually, so I don't have a faith per se. Um, I think it's really important to utilize people who are motivated by the same things to achieve a better world and to transform the world we live in. Hi, my name is Erica Schaps. I'm a sophomore at Brandeis University and I'm Jewish. Um, one of my faith heroes, Rabbi Heschel, says that to meet a human being with compassion is an opportunity to sense the presence of God. And I got into interfaith work to try to not only sense the presence of other people and learn from other people, but to come together to serve our greater community and to make a difference in this world that we all share. Hi, my name is Jem Jebia. I'm a senior at the University of Southern California. And I identify as Buddhist um, from the Mahayana tradition. And the reason that I am part of the Fellows Alliance is because um, I had an experience in Japan where I saw interfaith cooperation was the norm. Uh, there was no conflict around different religious traditions that were completely different from one another, yet they lived in harmony and almost complemented one another. And so I thought to myself, why can't the United States be like that? So, well, my name is Mark Wolf and I'm a sophomore at the University of Indianapolis. Personally, as a Christian, I have engaged other faiths, uh, just talking with them and uh, being able to do service with them. and. I, I just feel that because we can come together and just share values across the faith divide, that we can really work together for greater global issues and also local issues. And we are definitely better together. I'm so. Emily and Cecina. Um, I am a junior at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. The reason why I am an interfaith fellow is because as an agnostic who grew up in a very multi-faith family, I think it's really important to recognize the role that religion plays in someone's identity. Um, I always have to tell the story of how my mom grew up Mormon and my dad grew up Buddhist, and then when they decided to have kids, they went to a Lutheran church, so I was raised Lutheran, and then uh, how my journey through my Lutheran faith actually ended up causing me to um, question and become agnostic. So I think it's really important to see like all these different interacting religions and how it can be used as a tool to help people promote tolerance and peace around the world. Sure, uh, my name is Rue Khalsa, or Gudu Amr is my full name, and I self-identify as a Sikh. My parents converted to Sikhism in the 1960s and I was born a Sikh. So that is my faith, and in my faith tradition there is um, scripture as well as personal leadership among Sikhs that encourages um, interfaith cooperation and the, um, the validity of other paths. And we believe there's one, more than one way to God, so that was sort of my inspiration for becoming involved with interfaith work. And I believe that in order to solve problems in our world such as global warming and really daunting issues such as poverty and other issues such as this, we need interfaith cooperation if we have any hope. We cannot, we have to stand together and not apart. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a senior at the University of San Francisco. and I am a fellow because I think that people are people all over the world and it's important to embrace everyone's culture and their religion. Hello, my name is Aaron David Lerner. I go to the University of Washington in Seattle and I am Jewish. I am an IFYC fellow because to me, IFYC embodied what I believe is one of the most important missions of mankind. 
to make religions cooperate to build a better world together. Hi, my name is Carmen Yip and I'm a junior student at Wesley University in Connecticut. My parents met in church, so I was raised um, Protestant and I spent a lot of time in my childhood in Sunday school church. Um, I think my personal story is I always took religion and church life taken for granted. And it was not until I went to some countries and some places that there were no religious freedom or freedom of speech that I realized it's actually something, a privilege. It's something that we should treasure. I'm Ray Nelson. I'm a junior at Elmhurst College in the western suburbs of Chicago. Um, I identify as agnostic, meaning I don't know what my faith tradition is currently. I was raised Christian. And in that, I was raised to explore and to learn about other people and accept other people where they are. I am Amtum Sobermansur, and I'm a junior at the College of New Jersey. I am an IFYC fellow because I am really passionate about interfaith work. As a freshman, when I came to TCNG, I saw there were fine lines between religious communities, and there were no bridges being built. So. That is why I'm here as an IFYC fellow to go back to my campus and build those bridges. Hi, my name is Kayla Frank. I'm a senior at Davidson College in North Carolina. And as a Jewish student at a Presbyterian school, I think that interfaith cooperation and understanding are incredibly important. I find that every time I talk to a student of a different faith background, um, it actually causes me to look introspectively and better understand my own. And I think it's these types of relationships that help build a strong, diverse, and vibrant community. Hi, my name is Vivian Sakaida. I go to Wellesley College. I'm an Interfaith Youth Corps member because I believe that um, because of my faith tradition that I'm called to love my neighbors as I love myself and God. So I believe in building bridges and relationships across the categories of religion. Hi, my name is Nick Cable. I go to DePaul University and I'm a Unitarian Universalist. I'm an Interfaith Youth Corps Fellow this year because I feel it is really important for us to take the work of interfaith cooperation, this legacy that is very infused with the, with the image and the, and the founding of the United States of America and bring it to college campuses to motivate young people about creating peace and harmony and understanding between their friends, their communities, the cities that they live in, and the world. Because that is really what it means to be an American and a global citizen in the 21st century. My name is Stephanie Rohr. I am a junior at Mount Holyoke College, and I consider myself a faithful person, though kind of in between religious practices right now. Um, and I think that interfaith cooperation is the instrument that our generation has to um, really facilitate this discussion and broach the conversations that haven't been spoken before, um, and it's the really true means of becoming citizens of the world. My name is Charlotte Ann Malashevsky, and I'm a uh, graduating junior at Earlham College. I'm a cultural Jew from Newfoundland in Canada. I think it's really important that when we work um, for justice, for peace in the world, um, that we recognize the diversity in our world, that we recognize ethnic diversity, that we recognize racial diversity, socioeconomic diversity, sexual diversity diversity, gender diversity, and I think it's really important that we bring into that whole equation the question of religion and faith, spirituality, and philosophy. Uh, my name is April Palo. I go to Hamlin University in Minneapolis, St. Paul in Minnesota. Um, I am an IFYC fellow because I have a multi-faith identity. Um, I identify with various faith traditions in my family history and in my current involvements in my life, namely Judaism and Christianity. And so that both of those faith traditions really inspire me to work towards a multi-faith future and an environment in which all people have the ability to practice their religion as they choose and bring their full identities to the table. Hello, my name is Tanya Delima, and I, am, I go to Clark University. I'm a Roman Catholic. People from different faiths and different religious traditions need to act together and cooperate, see our shared values, and make the world a better place. And we need to live with that knowledge, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, it's always better when we're together.